Um, get Valgamist here, and due to some recent, um, oh, never mind. Due to some recent issues with uh, recording or whatever, I'm deciding to try a game that's relatively quieter. I guess you could say, oh, screw it, never mind. Um, basically, APB Reloaded. This game, my first impression, my first impression was of this was that it was like the worst MMO ever. But after doing a little bit of uh, what's it called reconsideration and playing and going in depth to it, it's actually a pretty fun game. But I'll go into that in a minute. Basically, it's like a massive, 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 very elaborate version of cops versus robbers, pretty much, except with a lot more stuff thrown in. It plays kind of like Grand Theft Auto from the criminal side, which is, well, I don't know why you don't play an enforcer, because, like, legitimately all the enforcers do is just troll the other players, but, but apparently one of the biggest things about this is that it's got a ton of customization, and it only takes 20 years for the loading screens to go through. Still loading. Still loading. Even on relatively low settings, it takes a while to sync up to the servers. Uh, basically, each character is customizable to like an up degree to where you can put like any logo you make on here. Like you can make tattoos for them, or use that symbol on their shirt, or change. It's like, the best way I can describe it is very similar to The Sims, except with a lot more customization detail. If it looks remotely humanoid, you can make it. Okay. So what I usually do is, usually one of the first things you do is you go and pledge to somebody or something like that. I usually go and do this first before anything. Because people are naturally going to bug the crap out of you. Basically, the way it plays, like I said, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, where it's like a third-person shooter, and you run around and steal cars, and crap, I'm gonna mug this random person. Mug. Bam. Take that hot topic. Okay. Now, then, what you, of course, what you do to get around the easiest way is to steal a car if you're a and they scream profanity at you because you're still in your car. I, I don't imagine why they do that. That's what I mean. Yeah. The car looks like Black Death. Just... And then sometimes it just starts missions without your permission. But you get points, and what you do is you have to buy, like, you unlock clothes, but you have to buy them with money. One of the stupidest things, like, the biggest thing about this game, probably its biggest problem, is that guns are not permanent for the most part. You can get a permanent gun, but guns expire after a certain amount of time. And it's one of these pay-to-play slash, it's free, but we're gonna bug the crap out of you until you get a paid account. But, um, basically, though, to get a permanent gun, you roughly have to pay, like, $20. Like, 20 real life, like, out of your pocket dollars. Not like Monopoly money, not like 20 Monopoly money. But uh, other than, but everything else you buy though, like, you can bu you buy cars too. But every car you buy, and every piece of clothing you buy, that stays forever, it's just the weapons. Like, the shirt, I bought these clothes. I haven't really played a around a lot with the customization, I'm gonna do that after this mission. The only problem with this game, well that, the second problem is, is it takes way too long to load, and then it's not very stable. It's got decent music that plays with the radio too, so... Kinda hard to drive too. 
I, if you had to ask me though, I'd describe the driving style as something like from The Godfather. If you guys have played the game. It's definitely... Yeah. The storyline for this game, if you're really concerned about storyline, which... Great, I got the mission done. Okay, now to go into, let's see, District Select. Alright. Now here's where it gets kind of interesting. Whereas normally you do mission like you break in somewhere, you get point, you get ranks for that, and you, you unlock stuff as a result of getting those ranks. But but once you enter um, but you've got four like combat PVP districts, and you've got one district where nothing, no missions, no nothing happens at all. And you can customize like a tune, like you can make it play music every time it kills somebody or show logos, you can put logos on cards. The in-depth, uh, the in-game, the level of in-depth creation in the in-game uh, graphic customization is relatively complex to a degree that I'd almost be willing to put it on the same level as fireworks, like almost, it'd almost be that powerful, except for the fact that you can't upload your own pictures, which kinda sucks. But you can make a lot of your own graphics. Like I saw a guy who had, basically, he recreated the Skrillex logo and it looked almost perfect on the side of his car. Along with some other stuff. So you can do a lot with the decals in this game. Finding everything, on the other hand, though, is kind of hard to do, though. Because you have to... You'd ha you have to find a place, and these terminals, you find these little terminal things. Of, they're different colors all around the place. Let's go to Simple Designer make a new one. But they're kind of hard to find. <laughs> if you're looking for something particular, not too horrible, but just a little bit more difficult than I'd like. But you've got your bar up here for modifying shapes. Why not? Well, other than, other than finding weapons and things like that, that's basically... I'll make a quick logo to demonstrate this. Oh, crap. Side. You can resize shapes. Wait, what am I doing? Maybe I should... Let's just say... You also have a layer feature as well. That's kind of important. Make these. Then you also have some effects you can do, like gradients. And stuff like that. Pretty, pretty interesting. Graffiti. that background color I don't know what to do with that. Wait, what am I doing? And yes, it actually does use that. Mm. Then, basically you kind of just play around with it. You can overlay effects and things like that. That is pretty much it for this though. And, um, well, really it's just kind of limited to how much, how creative you can get with it, and I might even put a tutorial up about how making something this, so. That's pretty much this game in a nutshell. And I guess I'll see you guys whenever I make another video.